Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to list the top 20 most useful products for building and maintaining your quadcopter. In my opinion of course, I find myself using this product quite a lot when I build my quadcopters. So th in this video I'm going to go over them one by one and this is not in the order of importance. So let's start. So the first one is my soldering stations and irons. So I've been using this soldering station quite a lot and I've been quite happy with that. It costs about $40, $50 and it's pretty convenient. The tips are interchangeable and I've been using also this one recently. This is the TS100. You can buy extra tips, smaller ones for more delicate soldering works and it's quite convenient to use it on the go as well. In addition, it's always good to have good solder. I recommend that if you build in micro quadcopters, try to get 0.2 or even 0.1 millimeters solder and make sure there is a flux in the middle because it's going to make the soldering process easier. These pads are always nice to have as well. It's used to clean the tip of your soldering iron. So what you need to do, just dip it inside water and then it will expand and you can just clean your soldering iron tip using it when it's hot. It comes in a package of 10 pieces or so, it costs a buck or two and it's useful to have. Third hand tools are very useful, especially when you're building a quadcopter and you do need a third hand in order to finish all the soldering work and assembling. So I found myself using mostly this third hand tool. This one is good, but I found it a little bit too bulky. So I think that going for this option is a very solid choice. Of course, you can also go for something simple like this third hand tool that costs much less than this one. But in my opinion, if you have the budget, go for this one. It's a more successful one and also has a better look and better feel. This one also has four arms versus this one that has only two arms that doesn't give you as many options as this one. Screws and nuts are always useful to have. So I recommend to get a couple of sets, plastic ones. And I've also got this set which has metal ones and Sometimes the frame kit is missing some screws, so it's always useful to have extra ones. If you're fans of micro quadcopters like me, you should get also this M2 screws because most of the 15 by 15 and 16 by 16 millimeters bores are using this M2 screws. Digital multimeters are extremely useful, especially when you don't want to burn your expensive equipment. So when you're building a new quadcopter, before connecting everything up, I recommend to go through the power out and see that the correct voltage is being outputted because sometimes there are mistakes and you don't want to burn your expensive equipment. So even going for this multimeter, which costs about three or four dollars can save you a lot of money. I had this hot glue gun for at least five or six years. I think it's actually time to get a new one. It's useful to secure antennas and some wires and for some quick fixes, you will find it very useful. The glues that I find myself using the most are these two. First of all, this is a silicone glue that is extremely useful for securing IPX antennas like this one. And you probably have seen me using it in my build videos. And the second one is this Loctite glue that takes about three seconds to dry most of the times, which is very useful for some quick fixes and sometimes even permanent ones. Just be careful not to get on your fingers because it's a little bit. Dualock is a really good product and I think it's much better than the regular Velcros because it can hold much more weight, it's more durable and it will last you for a much longer time. I use it mainly to secure the batteries to the bottom of the quadcopters. But the ring slaves come in different diameters and I find myself using actually mainly these ones which I think has four millimeters or three millimeters diameter. I use them a lot on securing the antennas and for the motors in order to isolate the cables. You can also use them in order to protect your radio receiver and even your ESCs. In order to shrink the heat rings, you can use this hot air gun. Of course, you can use also a blow dryer or even a flame, but I found this hot air gun to be an extremely useful one. It's very clean and it's, I think it's also safer than using a hot flame next to your quadcopter. So a cutter is a tool that you must have in your toolbox. I actually have two of them. One I have also in my bag to have it on the go. And of course you can use it just to cut wires or zip ties, but you can also use it in order to expose the wires and I found it very useful. This specific one cost about $2 and I think that it give you good value for money. Just be careful not to cut too hard object with the tip because I broke 
one or two of them so make sure just to use it with wires and it's going to work great battery voltage checkers come in different forms for example we have this one that doesn't have any buzzer this one with two buzzers on top and this is the more intelligent one which i reviewed and it gives you a lot of information about the battery but having even the smaller one can give you a quick glimpse of the state of the battery and then you know if it's charged or not and one of the things that i hate is to look for screws on this floor so it's a magnetic ball that will just hold everything together so whenever i'm building a quadcopter and disassembling metal screws i'm using this this is a video otg receiver i've reviewed it in my channel extensively and i found it very useful just to connect to my computer and check the osd configuration and to see that the quadcopter is working correctly instead of taking out my fetcher goggles and putting them on i'm just connecting to my computer i open quicktime because i'm using mac and i can see the video that the quadcopter transmits when I built my first quadcopter, I used this plier in order to change the propellers on the quadcopters because it can get very tight and what I did, I scratched the motor totally and it wasn't such a good idea. So luckily, RealACC released these products, the motor grips, this is the older one, this is the new one with a couple of extra features which I didn't find myself using, so even getting the older one is a great choice. And what it does, you just grip the motors on the side and then you can use this useful accessory which is the DYS motor spinners and you can tight or untight the motor screw. These pliers can be used with motors range between 18 to 45 millimeters so it's a pretty wide range. Zip ties are always great for quick fixes on the go and I also use it a lot in order to secure the antennas of the radio receiver. Tweezers can help you in the soldering process or to get something that was stuck inside the quadcopter like a wire or something like that. I want to show you these special tweezers that are working not in the same manner that this one does. Like for example, if you're soldering something, you need to hold it together like that. And this ones, you just have to press it and it will hold. So it takes less effort for you because you can see the spring works differently than this type of tweezers. This one will be more comfortable and you can just hold it together while you're soldering. And I think it's a nice product to have. A good workstation can help you organize your desk and can save it because this one is heat resistant so if you're going to touch it with your soldering iron nothing bad is going to happen and it has a couple of magnetic compartments and some room to store some accessories. Another nice accessory to have is this tool set that enables you to store all your screwdrivers and tweezers in a more organized manner. This is the bag that I normally use. This is the Low Pro Quad Guard BPX2. It has plenty of room inside. You can store your remote controller and your FPV goggles in addition to two more quadcopters and also all the extra tools that you need. A folding chair is nice to have when you're outdoors so you can sit and enjoy flying your quadcopter. So thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. Of course, I didn't include products like chargers and batteries and many other products, FPV cameras. So I just tried to make a list of accessories that will help you build in your quadcopter than just all around accessories. So if you think that I left something behind, please feel free to add it in the comment section below. And of course, if you have any questions about the product that I've reviewed and shown, feel free to ask it as well. See you on my next videos and goodbye.